Hello everyone. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the North Pole, to Santa's Christmas Village. This is where Santa, the elves, the reindeer, and I live all year long getting, re getting ready for Christmas. I'm Mrs. Claus. I run this place. Santa and I live at a little house over there by the post office. That's where he reads all the letters you send. The elves spend most of their time in the toy workshop building mysterious objects with magic locks and golden hinges that sing and flutter and swim through the air. They also make those newfangled toys like drones, Xboxes, American Girl dolls, and games for those electronic devices you all love to play so much. The reindeer eat at the reindeer lodge and practice flying over the ice fields. Whitson is in charge of teaching all the young reindeer how to fly so they can help Santa deliver presents to all the children of the world. In our play, we have a reindeer named Rosie who is very special. You see, her antlers are a bit different. That's because she has a heart full of joy and love and a life force of energy unlike anything you'll ever see. Let's start at the beginning. She lived with her mom, Dancer, and her dad, Dasher, in the Christmas village. Rosie, let's go, you're gonna be late. You don't wanna be late for your first day of school. What's taking you so long? You look great. Dasher, I've been thinking, I don't think Rosie's ready. What do you mean, not ready? The girl's great. She's practically flying already. I just don't feel right about sending her, that's all. Maybe we should continue homeschooling her. There's only so much you can teach with homeschooling. Rosebud has got to join the reindeer training corps if she ever wants a spot on the team. She's ready. I don't know, Dasher. I'm just worried about her. Honey, let's face facts. Rosie is special. She has a force within her. That's what I'm worried about, her force. You know how school kids can be. They might not like her. Well, I like her force. It gives her an edge. Yo, Ray Skywalker, get a hoof on. I like her force too. It makes her unique. But sometimes I worry that it might be too unique. You ready, Rosebud? Ready. You look so pretty, darling. Thanks, Mom. I'm so excited. I can't believe my baby's growing up. Are you sure you don't want to be homeschooled? I'm as short as the sea. You know I love you, Rose. Trust your force. It'll guide you. But with great power comes great responsibility, so be careful. Your force is very powerful, and people might get the wrong idea. Mom, you know me. Bye. Gotta go. Love you. That's what I'm worried about. Dancer, stop worrying so much. She'll be fine. I just don't want her to get hurt. Rosie, she's a natural athlete. That's not the kind of hurt I'm talking about. Don't worry, Dancer. I'll be back in an hour. See you soon. Ah, uh, the first day of reindeer practice. I love it. The running, the jumping, the crunching of antlers. There's nothing like it. Set, hut, at ease. I have a few words I'd like to say before we start practice. Hold up, Woodson. There's someone I would like you to meet. This is my daughter, Rosie. She's a flying machine. What is she wearing? What happened to her antlers? They're all out of shape. Great. Always room for new talent. What happened to her antlers? Nothing really. She's just a force of nature when she flies. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I fly so fast my antlers lie flat on my head. That's very interesting. Fall on terrain recruit. That means go stand over there with the other deer. We've got a lot of work to do, and it won't get done if we stand here yapping. Attention! Welcome back to Reindeer Flight Academy, and an extra special welcome to all the recruits joining us this year in our training corps. We're going to have a great season. I know all of you want a spot on the team to pull Slanta's sled. You wouldn't be here if you don't. But it takes a lot more than mere talent to pull Slanta's sled. It takes dedication, teamwork, and a lot, a lot of practice. Take a good look at the doe or buck standing next to you. One of you won't be standing here this time Christmas Eve. There isn't just room for everybody. So work hard. Right now, I'd like you to introduce I'd like to introduce to you our most famous flyer pilots. They've just led our team to three all sleigh and sled championships in a row. Let's hear it for Comet and Cupid. Clap your hooves. 
Comment, could you show everyone a simple lateral extend leap? Perfect as always, comment. Now, what reindeer thinks that they could do with that jump? Let's start with someone new. Hmm. Rosie, do you think you could pull that, pull off a fast break double reverse spin? With my eyes closed. Let's try it with your eyes open first. Come up to the starting line. Let's see what you've got. Hey, nosy Rosie, you look weird. I'm special. Special nothing, you're just weird. Weird antlers, weird clothes, weird. I bet you can't even fly. I don't care what you say, just watch me. I'm electric. Okay, here's Recruit Rosie executing the fast double break reverse spin. Go for it, kid. Wow, that was the first best jump I've seen in all my years of training. How'd you do it? I'm not sure how, Captain Blitzen. You sure have lots of potential. Keep it up, Rosie. I think I saw her trip a few times and Captain Blitzen didn't say a thing. I bet she tricked him. Right? Not nice comment. Where's your heart? I'll have no bullies in this academy. Why don't you give me two laps around the field? I don't think that's necessary, Commander. You don't think so, Cupid? Then why don't you keep Comet company? Aww. Everyone else, you may sit down and you've earned a rest. Let's go to the lodge for some hot cocoa and hay after. Man, I can't believe this. First day of practice, too. I know, right? It's so unfair. There she goes. Look, I can't believe she's in our academy. Where is she? Over there. You can't miss her. The one with the colored antlers? Wow, she really can fly fast. Not that impressive. Yeah, she's a good jumper too. A little too good. Commander Blitzen might be picking her for center instead of you. Or you. Maybe. She's freaky. She's gonna ruin the whole season for us. Yeah, looks like it. Santa, hurry up. Dieter and Blitzen will be here any minute. I'll be right in. I'm checking my list. You've checked that list twice already. I haven't missed a child in almost 2,000 years, and I'm not about to start now. Hi, Mrs. C. How's it going? <laughs> you know how Santa's always worrying. Anyways, how are the toys coming along? We're experiencing the usual last-minute crunch, but we'll make it. I'll be sure to send elves from the other departments to help out. Where's the boss? In back. Santa, Chief Elf Dieter, and Commander Blitzen are here. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Santa. Santa, where's your ho, ho, ho? It's on ho, ho, hold. As always, the problem is the frost giants. How can we get out of Christmas Valley with the frost giants camped out in the hills? They have us surrounded. We can outrun them and their ice. We always do. It's not just that. It's the weather. The frost giants are responsible for all bad weather we have to fly through. The avalanches, the snowstorms, the earthquakes, the sheet lightning, it gets worse every year. It's the frost giant, Fredhead, and that thunder hammer of his. Last year's blizzard was so bad, I could hardly see to steer the sleigh. If they're any worse this year, I don't know what I'll do. Don't worry, Santa. The reindeer are behind you 100%. And so are the elves. See, Santa, there's nothing to worry about. I just wish I, I just wish I could be sure. I've just come back from a meeting with the big boss and let me tell you, he is not jolly. He is not ho ho hopeful. We are going to have to work double time to make sure that we finish up on time. Do you understand? Peter, did you tell Santa we might be a, we might have a little trouble with our deadline? I don't tell Santa anything. I can't tell that sweet, fur-trimmed little man that his faithful elves are so far behind schedule. Don't get so worked up, Dieter. I just... <laughs> Maybe I should just ask Santa if we could delay things this year until my sister Elfran is ready. And then we could all have a nice little Christmas sometime around March. Sheesh. 
I see we have a few new elves here today. Good. Mrs. Claus said she'd try to send some more elves to our department as soon as possible. Elf Annie Jingle reporting for duty. Good. I'm Chief Elf Dieter, and this is my crew, Elfran and Elfis. Hey, little mama. Hi. How come he isn't dressed like an elf? Nobody really knows. Just make sure you don't step on his shoes. They're suede. Enough chit-chat, Elfran. Everyone back to work. Quietly. So this is a toy department, huh? Yeah. I'm Elfran, by the way. Nice to meet you. Annie Jingle. Nice to meet you, too. I just got transferred up from reindeer maintenance. A promotion, huh? I guess so. I kind of made a big mess of things down at the reindeer lodge. Whenever someone says a C word, I go a little crazy. The, the C word? Yeah. You mean cookie? No. Chimney? No. Well, I can't stand around all day playing guessing games. There's only one day left until Christmas. That's the one! Watch out! What's happening? Her away from the finished presents. The girl can't help it. She's all shook up. Do something else, this. Now hold on, little darling. Come on back here with us. I can't, Elvis. I love the holiday so much. If I even hear the word, I get the uncontrollable shakes. Listen here, little darling. I want you to think about summer, Mama. I want you to think about June, catching fireflies in jars, swimming in the old swimming hole, sitting on the porch on a hot August night singing. Wow, thanks, Elvis. I feel a lot calmer now. Lordy, Miss Claudie, I thought we lost you there for a minute. I thought we lost the presents. This is what you get for talking in the workplace. Now hold on there, Colonel. Elfin was the one who was- Elfin wasn't anything, Dieter. I was only reminding everyone that we have a lot to do and there's only one day left until- Don't say it. Christmas. Christmas? I love Christmas! Oh no! Look what you've done! The Transformers and the dolls and the Beanie Babies and the trucks? Broken! Everything! I've ruined Christmas. Oh, hush up now, darling. Don't cry. It's all right. But I've ruined everything. Yes, you have. She didn't mean to. It's only because you love so much. The same thing happens to me if anyone steps on my shoes. It's a phobia. Well, there isn't going to be much to get excited for over this Christmas. D don't, don't say, say it. it. Year. There won't be enough toys. Don't say that, Elfran. You'll discourage everyone. We can do it. We're elves. We're magic. We have magic hammers. If we double our output on triple overtime... We still won't make it. We need some bigger magic. Or a miracle. We need a bigger hammer. A magic hammer. No, Elphis, don't even think about it. You can't go. It's too dangerous. The frost giants will eat you alive. Oh, come on. Fredhead the frost giant has the biggest magic hammer there is. That hammer will fix these toys in no time flat. <sighs> you know Fredhead will never let you have it. Elves and frost giants are natural enemies. I wasn't going to ask him for it, Colonel. If Fredhead finds out that his hammer is missing, he'll destroy everything in his path until he finds it again. He's never gonna know it's missing. I'll borrow his hammer and have it back to him before he realizes it was gone. If he finds out, we're gonna have the biggest storm anyone's seen this century. Not gonna happen, I pinky swear. Come on with me, Annie. You can be my backup. Elphis, I forbid you to go anywhere near the Frost Giants. I'm all shook up. Fry me up some peanut butter and bacon sandwiches. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis is leaving the building. All right, everyone. Break's over. Everyone up. Time for reindeer drills. This is a group exercise, so we need a whole herd. Okay, dear. Stand facing me and spread out so you don't bump antlers with anyone else. Now, recruits, I want you to imitate the moves Comet and Cupid are going to execute. Watch them and do exactly what they do. These moves may save your life someday. Everyone ready? Okay, let's do the caribou stomp. Do the elk stampede. Do the moose on the loose. 
Do the shoot the moon. Do the shine the light. Do the caribou stomp. Do the elf on the snowbank. Do the late for Christmas. Do the two hoof stomp. Do the Santa's gotta go. Do the caribou stomp. Do the clomp, do the tromp, do the romp. Do the caribou stomp. Everyone confused? Okay, we're gonna try this again. Same moves as before, but we want all you reindeer out there to stand up on your hoofs and do the caribou stomp. Ready, set, one, two, three, go. Do the elk stampede. Do the moose on the loose. Do the shoot the moon. Do the shine the light. Do the caribou stomp. Do the elf on the snowbank. Do the late for Christmas. Do the two huff stomp. Do the Santa's gotta go. Do the caribou stomp. Do the clomp, do the romp, do the tromp. Do the caribou stomp. All right, everyone. Halt, freeze, let me check your form. Pull in that huff cadet, straighten, your, straighten that antler. Remember, we are professionals. We are deer who pull Santa's sleigh. Eyes straight ahead, hunches back, snout slightly raised. What's that strange energy I see? It looks like it's, it looks like a force field. It must be sheet lightning for the frost giants. We're under attack. Don't panic, dive for cover. Everyone down, hit the deck, dive for cover. How come I don't see any frost giants? Sir? Is this some kind of trick? Some kind of joke? Sir, it's my inner force. Recruit Rosie, you're forced? Well, yes, sir. It's my force of nature. What? My energy, my personality, my specialness. It's who I am. Well, this is serious. Very serious. Your force of nature is electrifying. Do you realize you made a mess of everything? I didn't mean to, sir. Let go of the force. I can't, sir. What do you mean you can't? This is Ranger Corpse. You will let it go. No, sir. I can't. The force inside me gets stronger whenever I'm excited, whenever I run or jump or fly or do deer drills. Well, this is no good. No good at all. I can't have it. It's undisciplined. Your force is under orders for me. I command it to go away. I'm sorry, Mr. Blitzen. I'm trying, but it just won't. I'm sorry too, kid. You're a very promising cadet, but a cadet who can't take orders is no cut at all. I'm afraid you'll have to leave Academy. But I love flying more than anything else in the world. Please don't make me leave. I want to help pull Santa sleigh. No, Rosie, that's impossible. I'll call your father and have him to come pick you up. Everyone else, it's time for reindeer games. Caribou kickball will take place on upper field and take a flying leap will meet on the top of the elf's workshops. Everyone else, use your hooves and everyone follow me, not you, Rosie. Stay here and wait for your father. If you're not a cadet, you can't play reindeer games. Those are the rules. Hey, weirdo girl, you're waiting for your daddy? Ooh, reindeer baby pants, isn't that something? Yeah, what are you going to do now with your life? Sit on top of a fire engine? All you need is a siren. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. But it's safer this way. Kickball's very exciting. And we wouldn't want your force to explode. It looks like I'm back to flying center. Yeah, right. Come on, it's time for the game. Weirdo Rosie. Weirdo Rosie. Weirdo Rosie. Freak of the Force. Hey, Lama. What's the problem? What are you doing out here all by yourself? Everything okay? You look pretty sad. I got kicked out of flying school. My force won't take orders from Commander Blitzen. What's that? My mother told me it's the love in my heart. Ain't nothing wrong with a little loving. Does everyone have a force? 
Yeah, everyone's born with it. Even me? Yeah, even you. Wow, how come I don't remember? I guess it goes away as you get older and smarter. Is there a way we can get it back? I'm not sure yet. Well, maybe we can figure that out during our secret mission. Secret mission? We're going to the Snow Valley. Where the Frost Giants live? That's right. Why? Don't tell the big boss I said this, but we're a little behind on tours, and we need Fredhead's big hammer. But it's dangerous. How are you even going to get there? It'll take you all night to walk into the hills. We hadn't planned on that part. Maybe I can help with that. I'm an expert flyer. I could fly you there in 15 minutes, maybe less. What do you think, Elvis? I think it's a great idea. And we could really use your force, Rosie. It's dark up there in the mountains. Then I'm on board. This will prove to everyone I'm good enough to be on the reindeer squad. The force will guide us. Okay, then. Let's go. Hang on to my antlers really tight. Are you ready? Ready. Then here we go! Brr, it's getting cold out there. But you know what's missing? Snow! Okay, kids, before we meet the Frost Giants, I have a special task for you. I want you all to hold up your snowflakes. Up through the air! Perfect. Now it's time to meet the Frost Giants. Oh, Hannah Retta, how I love you. Hey, Fred. Nothing. Right. I just wanted to remind you to keep your eyes peeled. It's Christmas Eve, and we don't want them to try anything fishy. Elves. If you want to have a Merry Christmas, keep watch. Aye, Captain. I don't think we introduced ourselves. I'm Annie, and that's Elvis. Pleased to meet you, little mama. Pleased to meet you, too. I'm Rosie. Wow, Rosie. That's such a pretty name. I've never been friends with a reindeer before. Friends? Well, of course we're friends. What else would we be? <laughs> friends. There they are! In the flesh. Okay, Elvis, now what? If I can imitate One-Eye's voice, I think I can trick Fredhead into letting us have his ha go get his hammer. That's a good plan, Elvis. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes. Fredhead? Yeah? I bet you can't throw your hammer as far as the big oak tree in the valley. What's the matter with you, One-Eye? You know I can throw my hammer as long as as far as I want. Fredhead, I'm busy. Do you think you can talk to your hammer a little quieter? But you said... I didn't say anything. You're such a Fredhead. It worked. Do it again. Fredhead, you can't even throw that hammer as far as our house. I'll throw it at your head if you don't hush up. Oh, Hogwarts, can't you see I'm in the middle of a spell? Then why do you keep heckling me? I'm not talking to you. I'm obviously spelling. Oh... Fredhead, Santa's turned himself into a little bird, and he's sitting on the branch of the fir tree ten miles down the road. Throw your hammer at him for me, okay? Sure, one eye. Right away. Quick, Rosie and Annie, let's go. It's now or never. Oh. Oh. Elvis, are you okay? I planned that. I have everything under control. What was that noise? My hammer. Where is it? It's in that oak tree, 10 miles down the road. Why'd you throw it there? You said Santa was sitting in a tree in the shape of a little bird. What? I said what? You said... Quick, Fredheader, we have to get that hammer back. We've been tricked by elves. Elves? Where's my hammer? Where's my hammer? <laughs> and did you see the way I said... Fredhead, you can't even throw that hammer as far as our house. Yeah, you are amazing. You're a genius. <laughs> yeah, they're so big and dumb. I was able to trick them so easy. I can't believe Fredhead actually fell for that. He's such a Fredhead. Frost giants are just so dumb. Uh, Elvis? 
Uh, what's shaking, though, Mama? You might want to look behind you. Ah! Ah, no, please! Have mercy, don't eat me! I want to live! No, no! Why? You can stop crying now. Yeah, we ain't gonna hurt you. Who told you that? You aren't gonna eat me? Heck no. Elves taste terrible. Besides, I'm watching my weight. Fast giants haven't eaten elves in a thousand years. That's a stereotype. Oh, then why were you chasing me? I just wanted my hammer back. It's a family heirloom. My great 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 grandfather gave it to me. Oh, uh, that's a lot of greats. Yeah, we take family very seriously. Hmm, maybe you guys aren't so bad. And maybe elves aren't as annoying as I thought. May I ask why you wanted my hammer? Uh, Santa's running behind on schedule, and we won't be able to get all the presents done in time. Oh no, that's terrible. That hasn't happened in... 2,000 years. Maybe we can help, right, Fredhead? Huh? Uh, oh, I don't think Hammeretta is ready for that. Hammerhua? Nothing. Is there another way we could help? Fredhead, this is an emergency. Quit being such a Fredhead. Fredhead. Ugh, fine, fine, fine. Let's go then. Elphys, there you are. We thought we lost. Ah, uh, Elphys, get away from them! They're gonna eat you! Oh, ladies, ladies, relax. They're good people. In fact, they're gonna help us out tonight. Really? Yep. Yeah. That's great. We'll make our goal in no time. Well, what are we waiting for? There's no time to waste. We got a holiday to save. You have to talk to Mrs. Claus, Dieter. We can't stay any longer. Santa has two more hours before he has to take off. I can't tell her there aren't enough presents. It's too late. Hola, everyone. Joy Noel. Just in time, Elphis. I just went about screaming into the storm looking for you. I'm glad you didn't do that, Chief. I'd have a blue Christmas without you. Did you get the hammer? Where is it? What the heck is going on in here? Relax, Dieter. They're here to help us. Why would frost giants want to help elves? Because we aren't as terrible as you guys think. What? I... What can we do to help? Follow me. I'll get you guys situated, and I'll show you the ropes. Project Ho 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 is a go. Where are we at right now, Annie? We still have 10,965 more presents to go, and we only have two hours left. Even with the Frost Giant's help, we're only moving two times the speed we were before. At this point, we're gonna need some kind of miracle. Some kind of miracle? A force of a miracle, maybe. I see where this is going. But you can't do all that alone. I won't be. Everyone listen up. Follow my moves. Do the elk stampede. Do the moose on the loose. Do the shoot the moon. Do the shine the light. Do the caribou stomp. Do the elf in the snowbank. Do the late for Christmas. Do the two hoof stomp. Do the Santa's gotta go. Do the caribou stomp. Do the clomp, do the tromp, do the romp. Do the caribou stomp. What is all this dilly dallying? Stop it, just wait till Santa sees this. Whoa, is that? The force. I can't believe it's working. One more time, guys. Do the elk stampede. Do the moose on the loose. Do the shoot the moon. Do the shine the light. Do the caribou stomp. Do the elf in the snowbank. Do the late for Christmas. Do the two hoof stomp. Do the Santa's gotta go. 
Do the caribou stomp. Do the clomp, do the tromp, do the romp. Do the caribou stomp. That was the last one. Whoa, we really did that. Yay! Yay! Woo! Yay! Yay! It was all because of you, Rosie. You saved Christmas. I'm okay, guys. Wow, I'm totally calm. This forest thing is awesome. Aw, oh, shucks, guys. I couldn't have done it without such good friends like you guys. You two, Fredhead and One-Eye. I'm surprised that there's no storm this year. That is unusual. Do you think the frost giants took a break this year? Santa, Santa, where are you? It's almost time for Christmas. Over here at the sleigh with Blitzen. We were wondering why there's no storm. Santa, did no one tell you? Tell me what? The frost giants are helping us this year. What do you mean by helping us? They're making what's they're making presents with the elves. Follow me. All right, Mrs. Claus. Let's go, Blitzen. All right, sir. Where did all these presents come from? I told you, we had the Frost Giants help. Santa, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but how are we going to pull all these sleigh with all these extra presents? We'll figure it out, Blitzen. We always do. Who is that? Hi, Santa. I'm Rosie. What a very special girl you are, Rosie. How did you become quite so unique? It's the force inside me. The force? Yes, Santa. You know that love is the ultimate force of life? Everyone has it. How does she fly, Blitzen? She's the best student in class, Santa, but her force is a loose cannon. I don't mind, Blitzen. I don't mind one bit. We'll fight darkness with the force. Rosie, would you like to guide my sleigh tonight? Well, I don't know. Come on, Rosie, you're the best. Well, gee, thanks, everyone. Santa, I would be proud to guide your sleigh, but I think that maybe Cupid would be a good leader for this Christmas. Well, gee, thank you, Rosie. What's that aura around you? It's my force of love. That's so cool. I wish I had some of your force. You do, Cupid. All of you have it deep inside of you. Love and kindness will light the way. That's very kind of you, Rosie. Mrs. Claus, gather up the deer. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Rosebud? What are you doing here? I'm... Come along, dear, and let me hook you up. Everybody ready? Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Rosie, now Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, dash away, dash away, dash away all. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And from that day on, the force grew in everyone and will continue to grow in new generations. Now you may be asking, what happened to our beloved characters? Rosie grew and became one of the reindeer pulling Santa's sleigh. Sometimes she visits the old reindeer academy where Blitzen and Cupid are training the new reindeer how to gather their force just like Rosie did. Elphus decided to start his own elf shoe company and the business is running successfully. Elphus is also said to sing at the toy workshop from time to time. Annie is currently the chief of the elves after Dita retired. And finally, what happened to Common? Well, you might want to ask the Frost Giants that.